Hey guys, what's up? This is Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time right out of the eye of the Sahara Desert. And, uh, but I feel like Mary Poppins, I gotta put that away. So, hey guys, what's up? This is Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time. Today, I wanna show you how to correctly start your Phantom. Actually, this is the DJI Phantom 2, um, but that works with the DJI Phantom 2 Vision and the Vision Plus as well. So, it's actually super simple bringing that thing correctly into the sky. There are only a couple of things you gotta know and I wanna teach you those right now. Okay, first off, turn on the radio control and make sure that the button at the upper left is on off and the one at the upper right is on off as well. Turn it on until the small red light appears. Next, you press that button at the back of the battery once and when the green lights pop up, you hold it. And now that means that it's starting. Now look at these lights at the back of the copter because these lights, they tell you if everything's all right and about, it's, t it's talking to you about the boot status, so to say. So right now I'm waiting for the copter to get a GPS signal. For, so for the case that if we're somewhere out there and we're having a fail safe, we're having a loss of connection, that it comes back to that position. We can see it, the green light is blinking super fast. That means that it has found the GPS signal. So sometimes that can even take up to two minutes, maybe longer, I don't know. But uh, when I was in other countries flying that thing, it sometimes really took a while to find the GPS signal. So, for example, if there would right now, because this is your first flight, uh, there would be a light, uh, uh, a red light and a yellow light blinking like red, yellow, red, yellow. That would mean that you would have to calibrate your compass again. So actually calibrating the compass is super easy. I will show you that to you in a special uh, tutorial and you will find it by clicking right up here. I will put a link there. Okay guys, so if you want to know how to calibrate the compass, click it and you got to do that before you take this uh, drone up in the air the very first time. So if you've done that and you are ready to go, then I would say you are ready to go because the GPS signal is locked. If, it's, uh, if the light is blinking green, like a slow green blinking light, that means you guys are ready to go. We take the radio control and uh, take these two joysticks and put them down there to the, to the left at the same time, like this. And then you see that the rotors start to turn. And the same way you can turn them off, take them both and hold them down to the left side. Again, left side. So and now we're already good to go. I mean, what else is there that I should show you? There's quite nothing. So to bring it up in the air, make sure that you're standing steady. Wait, I'm gonna turn it off for a second again. Make sure that you're not standing like this in an angle like this because then it might fall over. Uh, but there are prop guards for that. I will put another link up here because there's a tutorial of mine, of mine uh, about the prop guards because they uh, are trying to save your propellers for the case that, for example, it flips over to the side or something crazy like that. So if you're interested in that, you can watch it here. So again, let's start the propellers. And with the left button, you can bring the drone up by pushing it up. You can push it down, then the drone comes back down. With the right one, you will simply go to the right, to the left, to the front or back. And if you put that one to the left or to the right, you rotate it in itself. So, but the best is to stand behind uh, your DJI Phantom so that the stickers, like in my case, the blue stickers are pointing to the front so that the front is the front, the back is the back and stuff like that. So to bring it up, simply push that one up and maybe go two meters behind. So as you can see, it is actually super simple bringing the drone up in the air. And for the very first flight, we simply take it out there, fly it out and make sure that you're not flying too low. So bring it up a couple of meters and then you go to the front, check it out. You fly backwards and check it out. You fly to the right and to the left. And it's as simple as that. 
And of course, make sure that there are not too many trees or something around you, um, because you could really crash into them if you're not, if you don't know what you're doing. And now we can rotate it with the left joystick by simply, for example, pulling it to the left, then it's rotating. But be careful for the case if we rotate it and the front is now back looking at us. Wait, I will demonstrate that to you. I'm rotating it. Now the front is pointing right at me. And if I pull it back, it will fly to the front. So if you're like really a first time DJI phantom guy, point it to the front. And that way the front is the front, the back is the back and stuff like that. And then you can go up. And that is actually super simple. But bringing the drone back to the ground is a little heavier. And actually it's not about, you don't have to, I don't know, have a special technique for bringing it down, only bring it down slow. Because if you're bringing it down too fast, it might f fall off the sky. And if you want to speed that up a little, you can move around while flying down. So to the front and to the back and to the front and to the back. And then you can land that thing. And then you push it down slowly. And now there's some wind coming up. Do it slowly. And then push him to the left and that way you can land it. And now I will show you another landing technique and now I would ask my camera assistant to go into a wide angle. And now I will show you how to land the quadrocopter if that is getting too hard to you in the hands of the other person. But actually I can't really tell you go for it because you might get hurt or something like this. So this is only what I am doing sometimes if it's too windy or I mean just if it takes too much time. So I might ask my assistant to come up here and I will only demonstrate to you guys how to land in the arms of a loving person. <laughs> so simply make that person stand right under the drone and then fly it very carefully into the arms of that person. And now that person should really stand like that until the rotors have stopped turning and then we can put it down to the ground and turning it off is super simple. Simply again, press the back button once, twice and then turn off the remote control. So thank you for watching that tutorial. There are several other tutorials where I explain awesome modes like the course lock and the home lock mode. They are easy modes for beginners. Modes. They're not easy mode, they're easy tutorials for beginners. So there's lots of stuff that you can watch. So thanks for watching. This was Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time. It would be great to see you again soon.